Welcome, welcome to a brand new day, a brand new show as I always tell you. It's the 5th of February already. I know it's uh, five days down February already. I just remember 2014 started like yesterday. Anyways, so we've been talking about New Year resolutions with many professional artists on the show and I hope you had a really good uh, events day yesterday as well. Today, we are going to add a little bit of color to what we were something that we were speaking in last week. We were discussing uh, Colombo Art Biennale last week and today we are having um, three Actually, a few more guests uh, to uh, tell you more about Kalamat Pialani and what it's all about. Um, and today we have on our studios Tom, Thor, Thor <laughs> and Adrian. Yeah. And they're here to uh, talk about what, uh, what they will be doing in the uh, city of Colombo during these few days. Um, so, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience with the thing that you're planning to do? Uh, so, I'm Tom Pritchard. I'm a movement artist from Glasgow and I've been doing uh, some improvised performances in the Biennale. All right. So I did the last one back on Monday evening. All right. So did you start this year, or have you been um, doing it for the past in, few years as well? In the Biennale. Yes. Yeah, just this time. This is the first time I've been across. Right. So nice. Mm -hmm. And Thor. Uh, my name's Thor, as you've gathered. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know everybody must be thinking about some different Thor at the moment, but that, that's okay. Yeah, it's the same one. The yeah. different one. Who? <laughs> you. <laughs> you're completely ignorant about the, the popular one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you, not saying that you're not popular. I'm, I'm just saying. You never saying. get up that early. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> too early. For too early. <laughs> uh, okay then. Yeah. Yes. Where were we? We were talking about what I was doing. Who yes. are you? Yeah. I've been doing uh, two things in the JDA gallery and outside the Goethe Institute. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've also been on a residency in Sura Madura, which is an arts place down in Hikadua. Yes. And I've produced an installation that involves uh, voices from Sri Lanka mixed with voices from other countries uh, in this installation called The Speakers, mm -hmm. and it's a gathering point. And uh, then the other pieces in the JDA gallery is like a, a helmet uh, of a of kind of based on an image from uh, Velavaria. Right. Have I said that right? Yes, of course, Valeria. Okay. Valeria, that's <laughs> yes, it. Every exactly. time I say it, I say it wrong. Um, no, you didn't. <laughs> it's okay. cool. Uh, and based on an image from that, uh, it's a riot policeman's helmet made out of a, out of a cooking pot, a rice wow. pot. Nice. That hangs in the space and slowly tracks around. Tom did a great performance piece based around it. And, yeah, that's enough for now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was, like <laughs> <All> <laughs> right. it was, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. Why don't you introduce yourself? Bringing yourself energy to the, yes. Of course, of course. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling incredible good. And Yesterday why? was the National Day. Independence Day, yes. National Independence yes. Day. Yes, same thing. National same Independence, day. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, introduce you to the, uh, yourself to the audience, please. <laughs> uh, my name is Adrian Schwarzstein. I'm from Spain, but I'm born in Argentina. Okay. And during last week, I was uh, giving a workshop about street theater with local artists, local performers, wonderful uh, actors and actresses. And yesterday, during the National Day, we went out and sing to the audience. Right. Yes. Something like, Today is 5 of February. Good morning, Sri Lanka. <laughs> But, but, Yay. Uh, but people were not so, uh, so, how you say, so calm. They were a little bit like, oh, what's happened here? Why are they coming here? <laughs> Actually, it was a nice provocation. Mm -hmm. Giving a little bit of our love mm -hmm. to the audience. I don't expect. All right. So looking at you, I'm just judging. I'm just judging. Are you all morning people? Mm. It depends what's going on. Really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Morning? Yeah. Well, yes. since free, all free of you post coffee, coffee, I guess, yeah. is the question. Right. Isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. I must admit, I haven't had a coffee yet. Okay, so yes. basically, yeah. being artists and being a big part of the Kalamba Art Biennale, wh what's it been like? Um, you know, the past few days in Sri Lanka and the and the contribution that you've done with the local artists as well. How how was the complete experience? How how did you feel about it? I I enjoyed. Um, so on Monday night, I did an impromptu performance with a local artist, Vinuri. Wow. Um, and that was really lovely. So I did two solos last week, and then the, uh, something with a yeah, someone from here on on Monday, and that was yeah, it was really nice to kind of meet in the space and do that. <laughs> um, and there's been lots of uh, folk talking about uh, coming and speaking about the performances. Yeah. Um, 
and the feedback being that it, it was interesting but people didn't really know why <laughs> and that that's a really lovely provocation right, it's a really yeah. lovely kind of invitation to have a yeah a conversation about what the work is and, and how it's taken and yeah it's good it's nice how's it been for Thor and Adrian it's it's, yeah. it's been good really well received uh, and uh, I had some great uh, guidance in the beginning as well um, when I was doing research before I got here, a lot of uh, things that I read always kept uh, leading back to a, a, a site called Ground Views mm -hmm. here, uh, and they do some really great um, kind of uh, alternative thinking journalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I went and met them and uh, uh, had some great advice on what kind of uh, things would be interesting to follow, which I did. Um, but working with local voices, getting people to read stuff and speak stuff that's that's been tweets that people have written online uh, covering events where they've been fighting for their right to protest in public space or for their right to speak out and uh, the right to be to use public space as a space to to uh, uh, to say what you want basically yeah. Yeah. Um, and so this piece uh, takes those voices of people reading stuff that's um, for instance people have written tweets to to um, uh, to describe what's going on at an event, yeah. but it all ends up in the same place as Justin Bieber Lake and in this kind of strange <laughs> plastic land. Mm. Um, and then getting real people to read those and bring those voices back into the real street yeah, and, uh, sure. and having them in a kind of public space yes. uh, and broadcast in a public space, that's been really good. And the, and the, the project is kind of based around the, like the installation piece at Goethe, okay. which you have to come down to. Yeah. Um, there's a, a little fire and we make cups of tea mm -hmm. and you're welcomed with a cup of tea and, uh, and the, the point is to kind of create a gathering of people. Uh, and, and so that's been great because I've been there hosting it for the first two days making tea and meeting people and talking about the work. So, so, uh, Today I they didn't want to give us... They didn't give you tea? No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe coffee? No, no, no. no. So we have to ask again. We okay, want we'll tea. Have to, we want tea. Okay, tea <laughs> should be part of it. Tea, right. fire, smoke, that's all part of it. It's a right. meeting point. Right. Tea. Mm. Okay. Yes. Um, it's very good. And his, uh, uh, his piece is, when he was doing the workshop, Adrian's doing the workshop, they were winding their way through the piece and out onto the street and what have you. So, so there was a whole, uh, and Tom was doing a piece with the, with the thing in the gallery. Mm. So there's been some really nice kind of cross, I don't know, what do you call it, cross-pollination, things yeah. going on between each other. Contamination. Contamination <laughs> is a better, <laughs> like better word. Yeah. Contaminate, yeah. exactly. Contaminate. Yeah. 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 I like it. I like very much. I, feel yeah, I like the very much what you say about provocation. Mm. Mm. Yes. Because uh, using the public space is a kind of provocation. Of course mm. it is. And uh, I have to say that uh, the day before the performance, uh, we get stopped by the police because they say, uh, sorry, you're not allowed to dance and sing in the street right. because part of our right. performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say, why? Well, we don't understand. Uh, you, you must have a paper. Yes. And I say, for me, the paper is when the audience laugh and joy. And, and, and they enjoy and, the, and, the, and the and performance. Yeah. yeah, but no, this is not possible. Yes. So <laughs> actually, we went back <laughs> right. to our uh, workshop room right. and talk about. Yeah. And all the artists, the yeah. local artists yeah. are fantastic. Please invest on those artists of course, mm -hmm. of it is the future of this country is of these people <laughs> and, uh, and actually we decide that okay anyway mm. uh, we're going to perform and yesterday was fantastic amazing amazing mm. I, i'm really glad that you're having a great time uh, we have to go for a very short commercial break right now but after that i have so many things to ask you guys so okay. tune into um, good morning sri lanka after the commercial break bye Adios. Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. I'm having so much fun in the studio right now. And uh, we have artists that are representing the Colombo Arts Biennale right now with us. We have more guests coming up, um, but we were talking about uh, their individual perform performances. So right now, um, the question that came into my mind was that uh, Sri Lanka is a country that just came out of ethnic uh, conflict. Mm. And we are st uh, still starting to discover how to use uh, public space, like, like, like you were saying. Um, performers uh, were subjected only for interior places before um, the ethnic conflict ended. And right now, Colombo as a city is exper experiencing a brand new 
face into it and people are seeing uh, the beautifying of gardens the beautifying of streets and and people are more free to use the public space than before mm. um, so uh, the face that you see right now in Colombo is much different than it was before uh, my question uh, I have a couple of questions actually the first question is have you seen Colombo before this year um, mm -hmm. has anybody of no. you been here to Sri Lanka before no. all right so no. now what what do you think um, as Adrian was saying that there are many local artists who are very talented and we need to invest on them which is a good message that we have to give out there for the viewers um, my question was that how do in your opinion because you are professionals in your own arenas um, how do you think that we should um, invest on our local artists and on our citizens of Colombo as well and even in, in entirely in Sri Lanka how do we make them focus on using their talent and using their um, spaces, their public spaces, into making them something good, something that is beneficial to Sri Lanka, to the economy, to the uh, to performing arts, um, to arts in general. How do you think we should encourage our people to do that? First of all, when I say invest, that means uh, budget to create. Right. That means uh, there is a wonderful group of uh, young, talented actors, mm. budget to create shows. Right but not shows in a nice fun uh, theater that also I don't uh, I don't you, you don't use very much mm, mm. in the street mm. for everybody mm. and uh, there is a lot of street culture but not only selling buying passing by mm. you can stop to see a wonderful piece of art of course. that's an active active piece of art like a tour did a performance but uh, street theater really the street theater where the audience is uh, immediately touched by the performance and right. the performance by local artists that mean that there is so many wonderful stories don't don't uh, uh, take only the conflict the ethnic conflict take the ethnic richness of all the culture you have the in this uh, culture, island yeah, yeah. and put it in the street in a performance maybe to remember this conflict in order that never happen again again mm. exactly for example mm. Mm. all right so how do we put it out in uh, your areas of art? Uh, uh, I think the, the, the thing about public space is, is uh, how people come across something in public space is very different to if they go to an art theatre kind of cultural establishment. Because when you, as soon as you, you're going to an art gallery or a theatre, you're already thinking, okay, I'm going to go and see some art. That changes the way you're going to look at and the way you're going to uh, interact with the work. And it also filters out a lot of the audience yeah. to only those kind of people. So rather than one of the beauties of doing stuff in public space, and which is what I would encourage arts and arts to be doing, like Adrian said, uh, because the, you people will stumble across it. They won't come there with art goggles on. Some will, but there will be people who will stumble across it. And then uh, if the work's of good enough uh, quality, um, it's going to be something that... that that people will start interacting with without thinking they I have to have this art knowledge mm -hmm. I have to have this mm -hmm. certain kind of way of looking um, and you don't have to have that okay. um, so I think that's that you know invest in doing uh, more projects in public space I mean what cabs doing by putting stuff in different venues is mm -hmm. a good start like that but I think it would be great to see stuff that's really out there in, in the streets and unusual places. Um, I mean, what artists are really good at um, is is spotting places that, that have been forgotten, yeah. that have somehow there's, there's some, something there that they really see. Uh, and what you, I think, a, a, a good artist in public space can do is just is change the way we use a space for a period of time. Okay. And temporary stuff, that's really good as well, because a lot of public art tends to be stuff that's there permanently. Uh, if you do something temporary, it transforms the space for a period of time and then you give it back to the yeah. people mm -hmm. and you say, that's one way you could have used it um, and, and now it's back with you and do something else with it. So uh, uh, it's, it's stirring things up a little bit and just changing, but not in a bad way, it's stirring you up to, to, to think about how you can use your space differently and, and how you can uh, look at different, different, yeah, different perspectives. Okay, so um, yes Tom? I think there's a lot in... Um the ideas of creating exposure and permission within yeah. this, the so if the local artists aren't invested in to go and study elsewhere or go and be exposed to other kind of forms mm -hmm. or other kind of work internationally or